Right, this little video is going to give you a few little tips here. So, gable wall, taking the weather. Client wants to move forward because there's basically water running down the wall on the single story extension on the ground floor area of it. Um, obviously, these sort of situations like here, cavity wall insulation company normally says you need to take the insulation out, it's old, it's knackered, and this, that, and you have you. Ventilation company, condensation. Um, need new extraction fans, PIV or what have you. So obviously we are called in to give independent advice. I'm just going to show you some obvious basic defects you can see. It's been repointing carried out. Some of the pointing is missing. If you look at it here, you can see the pointing is covered with moss. So it's obviously been like that for a long time to be covered with moss for quite a while. Um, some of the plugs, often weak, no resistance once you push in. So when you've got penetrating damp issues, you've got a little bit of plug in there. That's the need of resistance. Once it's gone past that, it's gone through. As you can see, the point is soft. It's not been carried out very well previously. So it's just it's covered over basically. Now, I'm just going to show you some really basic stuff here. So if you're going to come and have a look at it, you're looking at it. So what, looking at trying to solve the problem, what we always do is, and my philosophy is, never presume it's been done correctly. As soon as you presume something's been done correctly, you're asking for a foul. Now, you know, obviously we're being paid for a survey. We want to give the client the best advice. If I've got to be on site an extra half an hour, so what? We need to find out what's going on. So one good thing to do when you're looking at flashing issues, particularly on non-destructive surveys as well, you just have a look, see how far it's been chased in. Straight away here, you can see it hasn't been sufficiently chased in. Now, this here is an extension. <coughs> so you're looking for a retrofit cavity tray. Now, if you look in among you, you can see just in a few places where it's been joined up. Now, if you're going to go and look for a defect, in my opinion, I'd never look for a defect there. So you can see across the whole of this roof, I've picked one spot. Now this could be just luck, but as a surveyor, you get like a bit of intuition. You think, right, this could be the problem area. So this is the one I picked. One of the reasons is you can see just there, you've got staples. Now these were visible, just like they're visible up. Where are they to? I'll find it now. You can see there's some sort of makeshift flash in there as well. Um, there's a staple somewhere else, but there it is there. You can see there's a staple there as well. So you think, why have they got staples in there? So here, retrofit tray, split. Big gap in the lead there. So this has been like since they put this retrofit tray in. Now, there should have been another wheat vent there. You've got one there, all jacked up. So basically, any water that's coming down, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna have a bit of difficulty getting out. So here we can have a look. This tray's not quite back as far as it could be. But any water that's coming down, and bearing in mind we've got a little holder, we've got a few vertical cracks here as well. It's gonna come down, it's gonna hit this tray, come into here, hit here, and then run down into the structure. Um, is it a cavity wall insulation issue? No. Cavity wall insulation is probably not installed perfectly, as it can be on some of the older buildings, but just by replacing an extraction fan, this is not going to fix the issue. Just by replacing the insulation is not going to fix the issue. So if you look at this here, it's quite a lot of work to be carried out to do everything properly and to make sure it's actually fixed. So one thing I would give advice when I'm talking to clients, like some people don't really want to pay for a survey. They just expect a builder to quote and give you a quote to do the work. And lots of people do do free surveys. Well, when you come to a problem, to fix this anyway, it's going to cost quite a few quid scaffolding, breaking it all out, you know, it's got a lot, a lot of implications. It's going to cost even more now to do the other bits of what. But it is money well spent on a decent survey. So if you go and get someone who gives you a decent survey, you're going to do a bit of opening up if necessary, use a few cameras, endoscopes, or what have you, then you can move forward. But if you're looking at this here as well, you probably want a little bit of um, crack stitching. You'd have to replace this tray, so it becomes quite a, a lot of a job now compared to what it, just a bit of basic pointing or a bit of insulation removal. So, as you can see, hopefully, this video gives a little bit of, um, you know, an evidence on why you should spend a bit of decent money on a survey to move forward. Thanks for watching.